Hi, I'm Lynette Darbenover and in this video I'm going to continue work on the built-in bookcases to create a really great home library. Okay, now, this is the big project. But I want to show that making something like this for your home is actually doable. I've made a couple of videos in this series already. And building this is not outrageously expensive. You need basic tools, a bunch of plywood, and I decided to add counters and lighting. Also, since I'm looking to fulfill a childhood fantasy of mine, I've also opted for a ladder. A ladder along with crown molding and trim work certainly isn't necessary, but it is that little something that makes the space truly awesome. So why not go for it? So right now I need to assemble this ladder and I'm using a ladder kit from Rockler. I chose cherry for wood because I'm using cherry plywood for the back of the bookcase. So I think that's gonna work out really nicely. So uh, seems pretty straightforward. The hardware is really nice and I uh, love the cherry, so. What are you doing? For the top here, I got a spindle. You can also use a dowel or turn something on the lid. Ooh, beautiful. So, I should do the finishing next. Okay, so time to get the rods installed for the ladder. I guess the thing with the ladder is that you want it to be able to ride smoothly and not be stopped by any brackets or anything. So the way that they designed this, the rod here actually slides like this. Now I just have another eight to go. Brackets are up. It was easier for me to actually thread these into the rod ahead of time and then I've already pre-drilled holes for these up here and then assemble them. As you can see, we have a lot of books, a ton of books. We've collected them for years at library sales and used bookstores. Some years I've gotten so many books here. I think this year I'm gonna try to be a little bit more restrained and not get as many. And seriously, you can get some awesome deals because people, in the spirit of minimalism, are literally giving them away. You just need to build some shelves for them. Schools are replacing books for tablets. People don't want them if they don't spark joy. So this is pretty much the cheapest time in history to become an educated person with a home library. Isn't that great? I mean, books force you to slow down and focus. It's why analog is having such a comeback. Kids need to grow up in homes with books. I mean, there are legitimate, not made up studies that show that homes with books have smarter children. So why is everyone throwing them out and replacing them with screens, wanting white, clean walls everywhere? I mean, my ideal space looks nothing like it. Seriously, it's an assault on learning. 
Now, I'm a woodworker, but if I didn't have all my fancy tools and I wanted to combat this disease and lead by example, this is what I would do. Get some IKEA bookcases, screw them together and then to the wall and attach some trim wood wherever there's a gap. Then I would get this ladder kit from Rockler and attach the brackets and the rod. Because why not? You might as well go fancy. And there you go. Start building your book collection and watch your kids get smart again. a bunch of trim, door separators. Hopefully it will be more or less enough and then I can attach it all and complete the molding. You know, it's always these extra touches, the molding, the trim work, that will turn a piece of furniture from just, well, furniture, to something that looks like it belongs, like a true built-in piece. Yes, it is a little bit annoying to do, but it makes such a difference in the end. So to cut the crown molding, I'm using this little simple jig, which I made, which it holds it at uh, the right angle. Oh, I really enjoyed this project. This was a lot of fun. So thanks so much for watching. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to hit that little notification bell to get notified of when I have a new video. Thanks for watching guys. I'll see you soon. Bye.